Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another action-filled episode of Full Throttle Wrestling Adrenaline. We are coming at you live from Jacksonville, Florida, on our way to Conquest, Honor vs. Glory. And that is how we are kicking off the show with an Honor vs. Glory qualifying match. You are looking at the beautiful Southern lady herself, Tessie Bell, as she gets set for her match, an opportunity to enter the Fatal 4-Way Ladder Match at Honor vs. Glory, where all she would have to do is win that match Obtain the briefcase that guarantees her a title shot whenever she pleases. And of course, Tessie would love to have another crack at the FTW Women's Champion, her former girlfriend, Claire Gagne, who she took to the limit at Conquest Miami only a few weeks ago. But that is in the past, and Tessie is looking to the future. And the future has this woman, Joyce Sparks. That's right, she made her debut here in FTW only a few months ago, and has been seemingly taken under the wing of the FTW Women's Champion, Claire Gagne. She changed up her look, sporting some nice teal and white, and this is a huge opportunity for the rookie. She hasn't had much success so far this year however the opportunity has presented itself and all it would take is a victory here tonight over Tessie Bell and she would lock in her ticket to honor versus glory and honor versus glory in those ladder matches it is anything goes anything is fair game but of course you know Tessie she is probably fueled by hatred and anger after her loss, and the two of them are now in a lockup. Tessie right away working over the arm, just wrenching on it. Look at that very wise veteran maneuver, dropping her to one knee, targeting the arm. Tessie now just continuing. Look at this, applying more strain. And Joyce managing to escape. Again, back into the lockup. This time, Tessie from behind just takes her down and slams her into a headlock. Look at this, Joyce fighting back to her feet, but no, oh, Tessie just slamming her down into the canvas. And now look at Tessie, oh, what a headbutt by Tessie. Tessie's showing no remorse, just all aggression here. Look at this, removing the turnbuckle pad. Tessie has some naughty ideas here tonight. Irish whip and a huge arm drag to Joyce. And now Tessie, oh, what a forearm strike. You know that if she hits that huge right hand she's known for, it could be all over right there. But Joyce showing a little bit of fire, bringing Tessie back into the ring. And now with a kick to the back, Joyce feeling a little bit of momentum. Getting in a little bit of offense here. Oh, what a high kick. And a forearm strike and another. And another, and another, and another. Look at those kicks. Lighting up Tessie with those kicks. And just knocking her to the ground. Tessie using the ropes, crawling away. Joyce, Joyce, what a maneuver. Huge here at by Joyce Sparks here this evening. Joyce getting the crowd behind her, going for another big kick. But Tessie, oh, look at Tessie. Quickly regaining control of this match. Tessie now with a few kicks of her own in the corner. Just laying, laying into Joyce. Going for the back suplex. Joyce with the counter. And Joyce now with the fireman's carry takedown. And Joyce with the chopping kicks. Looks like that's where she's been focusing all of her training with Claire on those legs she is a highly trained kickboxer miss sparks is but laying in those back elbows nonetheless 
And now trying to get Tessie back to her feet as she launches from the second rope, but Tessie catches her. Huge power bomb by Tessie. Into the pin. Is that enough? Two. Oh, but Joyce just barely getting her shoulder up. Ladies and gentlemen, what a way to kick off adrenaline. Tessie now finally hitting that back suplex. Brings Joyce back to her feet. Just gets her up against the ropes. What's she thinking here? Oh, we've seen this at Miami. Using the ropes as leverage. Stretching out those arms. And now Tessie with the splits into the pin. Dropping those legs over Joyce. Oh, but Joyce just barely, barely kicking out. But back to their feet, and look at that. Look at that kick by Tessie showing her that she has a few moves of her own. And now going back to the back suplex again, countered. Joyce, Joyce, Joyce with a downward spiral. Downward spiral into a triangle leg lock. What a counter. Joyce trying to make Tessie tap out. She has it cinched in deep. Tessie though, look at Tessie rolling through. Tessie rolling through. Tessie, looks like Tessie's had it up. There's that huge right hand. By Tessie, what a right hand. The Southern's right. And there comes the elbow drop into the pin. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all she wrote. Tessie advancing to honor versus glory. The challenge for the opportunity for that honor versus glory briefcase. But what a performance here by Joey Sparks showing just how far she's come in such a short amount of time. But it just wasn't enough. To, to Look at this right here. You can see Joyce had the, the triangle locked in, trying to make Tessie tap. Trying. She had nowhere to go, but rolls out of it. Smart thinking in a tough situation, and right there. The southern right followed by the beauty elbow, and that was all she wrote. And Tessie advances to Nashville for honor versus glory. The second woman to advance, but there, there's Catherine. It's Catherine. What's Catherine doing here? She's just, she's laying out Tessie. Look at this military press over her head, drops her down. Drops her down. Catherine hits the ropes. Look at the airtime on that splash. Catherine, what is Catherine doing here? Just laying out Tessie, wait a minute. Got her up, Dominator. Slams her back down. And now, she's grabbing a mic. And she's proclaiming herself as the third entry. She's warning the entire women's roster to stay out of her way. She wants that briefcase. Well, 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 what a stacked match that is going to be, ladies and gentlemen. And there you see Clayton Slate, the man who laid out Angel Fire at the end of Conquest Miami. And there's the former champ, Reese. And it looks like Reese is going to have Slate's back dealing with Mainstream. That is exactly what he needed. But look at Slate saying he doesn't need any help.
Well, 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 things certainly are getting interesting here in FTW. But ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the next next match in our first round of the FTW Tag Team Championship Tournament. And here comes the money, the made money, nonetheless. That's right, they are taking on a brand new team here in FTW known as the Coalition. And there you see Jackson Hart. He's been none too happy in recent months with all the setbacks of his boys against Nathan Michaels. And a lot of people have been asking, when is Jackson returning to the ring? Well, as those of you who might remember, he had quite the feud with Nathan and ended up injured as a result. But it looks like he has set his sights on the FTW Tag Team Champions. And he wants that gold to put around his, the waist of his boys, Mr. Blackmore and Marcus Vertinan. Of course, that's easier said than done, however. And there you see him just directing traffic at the moment. But not much is known about their competition I know they've made quite the splash on the indie scene and are quite over with the younger crowd. But this is the big times in FTW. And Made Money is out for blood. They are looking to take no prisoners here tonight. You know, these guys have to be laser focused after what happened at Miami. Oh, but here we go. It looks like we're in for quite the debut. And there they are. They're the Alpha and the Young Lion. It's the Coalition. Ladies and gentlemen, these guys have recently signed to FTW. And they have an opportunity to make a statement here tonight. A victory over made money would send them to the second round of the FTW Tag Team Tournament. And they look ready for a fight here tonight. Look at the size of the Alpha. And they are getting this crowd hyped tonight. The crowd is on their feet. They know who these guys are. The question is, does Made Money care whatsoever who these guys are? Well, it's gonna be a hectic first round to say the least. And we still have one more match to go to get our final four. And right off the bat, the Alpha going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mr. Blackmore and drops him. But Mr. Blackmore off so quick for a man of his size and stature. Oh, what a right hand. Oh, but the Alpha catches him. Oh, he tries to just knock him down, but Blackmore stays his pace. And it looks like the Alpha has to be the more agile, the more thinking of the two. He might not be able to just overpower someone like Mr. Blackmore. Blackmore just showing no effects. What a lariat by Blackmore. Now just picking him up and... Oh, just a shot to the head. Blackmore showing no mercy here tonight. And there's the tag to Verdinan. Little double team action here. And you see Marcus talking trash to the Alpha. And there's Jackson on the outside giving his men a little bit of a pep talk. Not to get too distracted. 
scuffle with Hilaria from behind. Dropping Marcus, dragging him back to his corner. Smart move by the Alpha. You want to try to keep him isolated. And here comes the young lion. Bringing Marcus to his feet, going for a huge back kick, countered by Marcus. Look at this, Marcus though, wisely controlling the playing field. Working over the young lion. Browning him, preventing him from getting any momentum built up. But the young lion fighting back to his feet with a couple of elbows to the gut. Getting that separation. Marcus in a bad state, Irish whip off the ropes. Oh, but what a right hand by Marcus, just, look at this, now working over that arm, no remorse, no wasted motion, everything's so clean and crisp, this big Irish whip into the corner, into the side Russian leg sweep. And you see Marcus there, a little woo for the crowd as he tags his partner back in. And you see Jackson on the outside, very proud of his boy's work so far. Look at Blackmore just tossing around the young lion, a man half of his size. And he quickly makes the tag to the Alpha. Oh, but look at that Blackmore with that quick duck. Like I said, he's so, so agile for a man his size. And just look at that backbreaker. Stopping the, the coalition from getting any momentum. And just picks him up. There's the huge fallaway slam into the pin is that all she wrote two oh, but a kick out by the alpha not going down so easily and blackmore just working over that neck cranking away pulls him back to his feet back into the corner and here comes another tag and it looks like they're going back to the well Another boot to the face, and the Alpha doesn't seem to know where he's at. He's crawling to the wrong corner. And Marcus now targeting the leg off, oh, dropping his entire weight over the knee. So precise, and look at this, just mounting and throwing haymakers. And this crowd is letting Marcus hear it. He used to be a, a favorite here in FTW, but ever since his allegiance with Jackson Hart, there's been a lot, a lot have been questioned about his ethics and his morals. But the coalition are fighting back. Look at this double team using the ropes, huge reverse suplex. And now the young lion. What a maneuver. Just working over the neck of Marcus, giving a little taste of his own medicine. And now just drops, drops the, all of his weight on the arm of Vernon. And Marcus wisely rolling to the outside of the ring, realized he was in a dangerous spot there. But the young lion just tackles him, sending him crashing to the mat on the outside. And the young lion just picks him up and brings him back in. They are not going down without a fight. Irish whip into the corner. And what is he thinking here? Full speed ahead, drop kick into the corner. But Marcus with a quick reversal. Oh, but again, Triple reversal, these two are just going back and forth, counter for counter. And now Marcus, Marcus just drops him on the top turnbuckle. Irish whip into his corner, and here comes Blackmore. Made money showing a little more double team, look at the huge back body drop. What air time the young lion got. And now Blackmore setting up, flips him over, the knee to the face. 
That's got to be all she wrote. And there you see the Unbreakable Dragons taking note, watching their competition, and see that Made Money have advanced into the second round. Made Money making an example at the Coalition who put up quite the fight, but just not good enough. And there you see Jackson Hart getting into the ring to congratulate his boys. Looking to get back into the winning column. Well, 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 strong words by both Klein and Angel Fire. But ladies and gentlemen, back in the ring, Justin Laurent. He sets the dual battle tonight against this man, Samuel Gregory. Last week, Samuel, furious about his tag partner, Duke Williams, walking out on him in the middle of their tag, in their tag tournament match, scoured the backstage area and came across Justin Laurent and brutally assaulted the young man. Laurent demanded this match tonight as a chance to get some retribution against Samuel Gregory. Gregory's still in a pissy, pissy mood since the, the incident with his partner occurred. You see him still sporting the British Invasion colors and logos, but it's hard to say where they stand. It's from what I've been told, the two have not spoke all week, despite Samuel's best efforts. But there's the bell. And right off the bat, big kick by Laurent. But Gregory just hangs him up on the ropes. And look at this, just going to town, showing off some of that British strong style. That high knee to the face. And just... British strong style, such a, just such a brutally punishing way to wrestle. It's a lot of strikes, it's a lot of hitting, it's a lot of full force contact. And there you see, Dragon screw right into the ropes for added pain. Those ropes are not as forgiving as you think they might be. And now, Gregory just going to work on that knee likely setting him up for that inverted figure four leg lock that he enjoys to apply. Just picking apart Laurent so far. And the crowd just booing the hell out of the Brit. 
Just a quick left jab. Oh, but Laurent fighting back with a chop. Laurent going for a big move in the corner, but Gregory getting out of the way. Gregory just seems to have all the answers for this young man. And now picks him up in just a huge backbreaker. And now look at that. Just dragging him to his feet. Just to bring him back down with a suplex. And Gregory just taking it in. Picking apart Justin Laurent. Yeah, but Laurent with the Irish whip. And just Gregory just pushes him, pushes him down. But Laurent refusing to give up. But again, Gregory with the counter. But Laurent refusing to back down. It just kicks him right in the gut. And you see him trying to regain his focus. Gregory wisely rolling to the outside, but Laurent from the top. Oh, but Gregory just using his own momentum against Laurent, slamming him down. And now just throwing him about into the ring post. The referee beginning his count. And just being tossed around all around ringside. Up to a count of four, and Gregory finally throws him back into the ring. And now, look at this, just punching him right in the side of the face. There's no, no, no leeway given by Gregory. Just dropping the elbow across his head. Gregory, you gotta remember, he's as tough and as brutish as they come. Dropping the leg across the throat of Justin Laurent. Laurent struggling to get in any sorts of offense until right now. Big left and a big right. And another. Irish whip. Ducks underneath. Leapfrog. Big arm drag takedown. That's just what Laurent needed. And now Laurent gaining some momentum. Getting some clotheslines in. Dropping Gregory. He's finally starting to put it together. All it takes is a few moves to start stringing together. Any one move can end a match here in FTW. Now knocking Gregory into the corner. And look at those kicks. Those quick kicks by Laurent. And now just rubbing his face, he hits the ropes full throttle. What a boot to the face by Laurent. Laurent realizing this might be his only opportunity. He's going upstairs. He might be going big. But Gregory getting to his feet. Gregory to his feet, he's got Laurent, drops him down. Before Laurent could, could launch himself. And Gregory, oh, look at that. What a chop block. No telling what damage he did to Laurent's knee. And now Gregory, look at this. There it is, the torque. As he applies all the pressure to Laurent's leg. The inverted figure four. Laurent fighting with everything he's got. He's no, he has no choice. He has to tap out. But what a gutsy performance by Laurent. Showing that he might have been outmatched, but he was refusing to give up. There you see the chop block. And there, Gregory, with the look at that twist into the inverted figure four. Nowhere for Laurent to go. Stuck right in the middle of the ring. He, he fought as long as he could, but in the end, no choice but to tap out. What an impressive showing. You can tell he's still pissed about what happened last week. But 
You can tell he feels a little bit better after picking up that big victory tonight over Laurent. But now it looks like he's got something to say. He's right, Duke Williams did bail out on the match. And he's calling out his former tag team partner. He wants to put the whole situation behind them. Oh, but wait a minute. Looks like he's gonna get his wish. comes Duke Williams. Duke Williams, look at him, pandering to the crowd, flexing his muscles, showing off his impressive physique. Almost like he's mocking Samuel Gregory, who is no slouch himself. Gregory He's like, you think that is impressive? He's like, come on, come on. Out with it. A little trash there being thrown by Duke. Claiming that he's tired of carrying the team. Interesting point made there by Duke Williams. It has been four years since they last held Tag Team Gold. They've always been in competition. But it has been a long, long time since they've held those Tag Team titles. Oh, what a blockbuster announcement. Two weeks, Duke Williams and Samuel Gregory go toe to toe to finish this little feud of theirs. The winner advancing to the honor versus glory ladder match for the men. And look at that disrespectful shove by Duke Williams who wisely tries to get out of the way. But now, ladies and gentlemen, an exclusive interview with Ruby Rose. Strong words from Ruby Rose, but ladies and gentlemen, next week, Claire Gagne returns and is in action. No doubt going to be dealing with the fallout of the surprise appearance, the surprise return of Ruby Rose. But ladies and gentlemen, it is time now for our main event, and it is a rematch of... Conquest, New Jersey, where Klein took on Clinton Slate for the FTW United States Championship, which ended in a rather controversial way. It looked like Clinton Slate was going to retain the title when he applied the rear naked choke to Klein 
who was beginning to pass out, but Klein being such a mammoth of a man, fell backwards, and the referee counted one, two, three, claiming that Clinton Slate's shoulders were both on the mat as he had the rear naked choke applied to Klein. Moments before Klein was able to tap out. So tonight, perhaps a little bit of retribution is in store for Clinton Slate. But there's Angel Fire, the FTW champion, walking around backstage. Uh oh. That's Kane Salvik. Kane Salvik is knocked out. He's not moving. Angel Fire just found his heavy unconscious backstage and he's made a feline feline for the ring and there's the man Clayton Slate who's going to challenge for the FTW Championship at Honor vs. Glory he already choked out Angel Fire once at Conquest Miami and he's no doubt looking to do it again Setting his sights, however, on the German suplexing machine, Klein. No doubt wanting to choke out Klein once more. It looks like he's already taken out Kane Selvik. Clayton Slate is a dangerous, dangerous man. And you can tell just how scared Angel Fire is. Even Klein getting out of the ring as a show of respect for what Clinton Slate is capable of. Slate gonna show no remorse. He does nothing but just kick a ton of ass. That's his M.O. And you can see he's fired up and raring to go. There's the bell. And both men. Look at this, a little uncharacteristic of both men, but nonetheless, they began by circling one another, lining each other up. And right away, Klein with the front base lock. Irish whip off the rope and oh look at that high knee and if there's one man who can go toe to toe with Clinton Slate and not be afraid it's the German suplex machine it's Klein but look at this high insiguri connecting by Clinton Slate the vicious bulldog as he's become known in the locker room he has no friends he has only victims Hits the ropes and a huge scent on by Clinton Slate. He has an impressive MMA record. He's been all over the world. He's practiced different styles. He's fought a ton of different people. And he has set his sights on the FTW Championship. But first, he has to get past the United States Champion. The man who ended his undefeated streak here in FTW since his return. Granted, it might have been in a controversial way, but it still counted. And look at those strikes, those open palm strikes by Klein. What a right hand. And another right to the gut. And what is Klein thinking here? Picks him up. And a huge power bomb. What a power bomb! But look at Slate just trying to pull himself right back up. Klein going for a big move, sets him at the top, but no. A huge right hand and another. Oh, spinning backhand doesn't drop the big man. What a big clothesline over the top sure does, and the crowd. Getting behind Slate as he shows no remorse. Slate just dropping Klein. Look at the power 
a clean slate, picks him up, and just drops him on the apron. The hardest part of the ring, and you can see Klein feeling it. Now throws him back into the ring. And going for the German suplex, but Klein reverses. Klein now picks him up. Alabama slam. What a what momentum shifting maneuver. And now look at Klein. Klein attacking the leg. We rarely see Klein use submissions. Look at the torque. Look at the twist. He has got on Clayton Slade's leg, but Slade with the elbow quickly breaking free. And now Slate, Dragon Suplex into the pin. The crowd getting to their feet, oh, but only a two count. The power, Klein registers close to 400 pounds. He was just suplexed out of his boots. And another huge back fist by Slate. Slate now picks him up and just hangs him over the top rope. Slate not afraid just to attack Klein. And vice versa, these two heavyweights will just throw everything they have at one another. And Klein with the huge reverse following slam. Trying to ragdoll Clinton Slate. You can tell he's getting fired up. But Slate pulling himself to his feet one more time. But Slate, oh my god! What a suplex! Just drops Slate right on the top of his head. Is that enough? Oh, but Slate just at the last possible second getting his shoulder up. He just was drop Slate right on his head. And now going to work back with those strikes. He's telling the crowd where to go and how to get there. But he turns his attention back to Slate. Oh, but Slate continuing to fight back. Look at those combinations. What a lariat by Clinton Slate. Slate now has Klein on the ropes and brings him back in over the top belly to belly suplex. And what a chop by Clinton Slate and another and a right hand, and a jab. Just going to town on Klein. Klein unable to defend himself, can't block any of Slate's offense. And a pick up power slam. What a move. And you, there you see it. Slate might be going for it. Oh, he just picks him up, Death Valley Driver! I thought he was gonna go for the rear naked choke. Going back to the Dragon Suplex, no, countered! Oh, what a clever counter by Klein, stamping on the foot. Now Klein, big throat thrust upward. And Klein picks him up and just hangs him on the top rope. And Klein, Klein taking everything Slate has to has to offer and throws it back at him. And now look at that, stomps on the back. Oh, look at this, putting all of that weight on the lower back of Clinton Slate, locking in. What a clutch! Look how deep he has that sunk in. Slate right in the middle of the ring, nowhere to go. Oh, but he ducks underneath. What an escape by Clinton Slate. Slate straight jackets him. What a suplex. But Klein pounces right back up and goes right back on the attack. These two men just exchanging blows. Nothing, not even hear the electricity in this place. What a right hand. Another Slate in the corner. Klein just picking him up. Throwing him off the top turnbuckle. 
And look at the combination, the open palm strikes again. What a right hand. And now Klein, again back to the submission. Look at that abdominal stretch. And he's got his hand on the rope for added leverage. Really torquing away at Clinton Slade's abdomen. Just torquing away. Oh, it just throws him down. But has the damage been done? Has the damage been done to Clinton Slate? Again, back to the strikes. Stri strikes and strikes again. Oh, look at the sub-bot kick. Right to the back of the skull of Clinton Slate. But that took a lot out of Klein. Klein wisely pulling him away, but how much time is he wasting? Into the pin. Two. Is that enough? No. Oh, Slate kicking out at 2.8. All that time wasted by Klein. Uh oh, but it looks like Klein is going to go finish him off. Looks like Klein's going to try to finish him off right there for the reversal. Reversal, but, but Slate. Slate picks him up. What a slam. Slams him down. Uranagi slam by Clinton Slate, but wait a minute. The FTW champion, it's Angel Fire. Angel Fire, perhaps not as cowardly as we thought. Making his way down the ramp. And there you see Clinton Slate. He's like, come get you some. But no. He's going to go give it. He's going to give it to Angel Fire. Fire quickly turning around and running away. Perhaps a wise move, but there's Brian Reese. Brian Reese said he had Slate's back earlier tonight. And there you see Angel Fire realizing he's stuck between a rock and a Clinton Slate. In a bad, bad state of affairs. Oh, but what a right hand, a right hand. And now Slate, Slate locking in the rear naked choke. Slate with the rear naked choke on Angel Fire. The referee has called the match off. Look at him, just choking the life out of Angel Fire. But wait just a second, look at this. Reese, Slate. They lock eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time on FTW Adrenaline. Good night.